I don't know if that's the proper way to say the multiple um, of the rouge, um, but we have these gorgeous colors that you can use <laughs> lips and cheek in our show, and they call these the Pot Rouge um, from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, and they are these wonderful, vibrant colors that you see in the pots that you can now apply to the lips and get a gorgeous wash of color, but also use on the cheeks for a perfect pop of color on the cheeks. Um, so here are four of the shades that we have. Now we have five different shades on beautyiq.com, but let me just show you these four right over here. We have Calypso Coral, which is gorgeous, Fresh Melon, a beautiful kind of everyday blush in a um, kind of like peachy tone. We've got Pale Pink, another beautiful everyday blush. And then right over here, Powder Pink, which is also a beautiful everyday blush. Oh, actually, we only have these four available for you guys today. Today we have it for you on two payments of $15, also free shipping and handling. Uh, and Tia, I wanna know which one of these is your fave? They all are. They all are? <laughs> they Good all answer. Are. I have to tell you, it just depends on the mood. Um, you know, what I love about these is they're multitaskers, so you can use them as a lip color, you can use them as a blush color. It's really about makeup on the go. And if you're trying to figure out where to start, choose a color that you feel looks most similar to your lip color with no lipstick on. And that's a really good tip. So for today, I'm actually gonna start off with um, a pale pink. It's a little more vibrant, but it's beautiful. Now, what I wanna share with you is this is such a beautiful creamy color. You have the mirror there, so you can easily apply. Here's a great tip. You wanna make sure you smile and apply your blush right into the apple of the cheek if you're working with your finger. Wow, so just as easy as using your own two fingers. So like, if you picked up the bronzer and you took that on vacation with you with the blush, you're kind of like set you to go. Set. And you know what I love? The bronzer, I know we're talking about the blush right now, but the bronzer has no shimmer or sheen to it. So it perfectly complements your blush color. So and now this works even with powders. Yes. Um, so it works if you have a dry skin, an oily skin. It works during the summertime because it gives that beautiful like glow that just looks like healthy, radiant skin. In the summertime, usually we're wearing less makeup, so our skin has this gorgeous glow to it. So we're working with the pale pink. And here's the fun thing, you can layer. So you could, you know, choose one color that's a little more neutral and then choose another color. So I'm gonna come in with, um, Calypso. Yes, and just add a little more vibrancy. You can work with a foundation brush or your favorite blush brush if you want, but I find it's just really fun and easy just to apply with your finger. And here's the tip. Can you see how Samantha's smiling? You wanna give like a really big, beautiful smile. I always say, say I love you when you're smiling. Oh, I love you to I myself. Um, and then just blend. And you know, I live in New York City, so I always say people are nicer to you when you have blush on. So if it's a day where you're like, ugh, <laughs> put lots of blush on, I promise you, you're gonna feel amazing. Everybody <laughs> will be opening the doors for you. <laughs> yes. And carrying your bags <laughs> and doing everything um, for you at your service. I love that. Um, but here, what's really nice, guys, is that you know, Tia is actually layering two different brush blushes. You started out, did you start out with the pale pink? I did. Okay, so you start out with the pale pink and then you ended up also applying the calypso coral as yes. well. Yes. And what I want to share with you, I know we're gonna, you know, if you just want to do this on the go, you could just add a little to the lip. A quick easy lip color. It's mm. gorgeous and natural. Very pretty. So I'm actually swatching these on the back of my hand so that everybody can see really that you can make these lightweight or um, a little more intense. I little, yeah, you can use my do brush some really great in intensity and with a these more as well. Uh, and then we'll just show you what this looks like. But I really love these shades. Look, look at this, guys. These are so beautiful. So right over here, this one is the. That's the. Well, now I have to hold on one second. That one is the powder pink. So that one is the powder pink right over there. The next one over there in the middle. That one is the pale pink. That one is your 
mm, fresh melon, mm -hmm. and then that one is your calypso. So really beautiful shades, and I'll just show you them in the pot um, so that you can see what they look like one more time. Oh, I dropped one. That's what happens sometimes here on the set. Okay, there you go. There is your Calypso, which is gorgeous, and it's this wonderful bright coral. Here you have fresh melon, which is so fresh and beautiful and easy to wear. Pale pink, that's what you started with on uh, Samantha, which I loved. Yes. And then right over here, powder pink, um, which is just a beautiful kind of soft shade of pink. All of them really work very easily on all skin tones. Uh, and remember, you can pick them up right here at BDIQ.com. And it's 15 bucks to get them home, which I really appreciate the fact that we have that easy pay here at BDIQ. But what else can you do with the blush? So you actually put this on the cheeks. I know that we're saying we could apply it to the lips. Let's see that on the lips yes. on Samantha so that we could see like really the intensity that we could build. Absolutely. And how does this feel when you apply it? This has a beautiful creamy feel to it. It doesn't feel too heavy. Um, it, to me, it just feels like a luxe creamy lip color. Ooh. And now, would I be able to apply this with my fingers or do I always have to use a, a brush? Actually, with your fingers is great. If you want a more defined look, you can work with a brush. So on the upper lip, I'm just gonna tap in with my finger so you can see. And the formula, Tia, does it last when you put it on? Is this something that I have to reapply all day? I have or? to tell you, I wear fresh melon all the time as my lip color. It's like my neutral natural lip color, and it lasts. It like it adheres to the skin. This has a clear base to it that has strong pigment, so it's giving you like beautiful longevity, um, and you're not gonna have to reapply throughout the day that often. Okay guys, well listen, you could pick it up here at BDIQ.com. There are your shades one more time so that you can see them, but I'm gonna show them to you in the pot so that you can choose um, from here. Right over here uh, on the left, that one is your fresh melon. Then we have for you powder pink. That powder pink is gorgeous. This is pale pink and then Calypso. I think Calypso is one of my favorites, but I just, I think I just really like bright colors. Uh, so you can always try any one of those out here at BDIQ.com. All right, so we're gonna continue on in the show um, because we've got ways to not only add some light to your makeup, but also some tint. You know, a lot of us know highlighters out there just for bringing the brightness. Well, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics created two great highlighters that not only give you that brightness, that not only give you that luminosity, maybe it's around the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, right above your blush, but at the same time, it's also giving you a little bit of tint. And these two are beautiful. We've got uh, pink glow right over here. So if you're more of a fair complexion, you're gonna go with that pink glow. And then we also have right over here, bronze glow. For anybody out there that uses maybe more of like a medium tan or a warm um, kind of complexion product in their foundations. Today we have it for you on three payments of $16. Again, free shipping and handling on everything in the show. And Tia, tell us about these formulas because these are, these are powders, but they go on really creamy on yes. the skin. So with this formula, it's very velvety. It's it's a powder, but it almost feels like a cream. So this is like a cult high cult favorite. It gives you high impact highlighting to the skin, sheen to the skin. It's not a shimmer. It just gives a beautiful glow. So with I'm working with um, pink glow for Samantha. We're first going to apply this to what I call the high plane of the face, just to enhance the blush which is gorgeous. But one of the things I want to show you as well is if you want to create a stronger um, glow effect, you can actually take it. This is for the makeup lovers. Mm. You can actually apply, whoop. <laughs> I'm going to do it Are you going to put a little bit of water on there? I'm going to apply a little bit of water. 